Spike protein assault is a continual threat these days, potentially causing things like inflammation, blood vessel damage, brain fog, and lung problems. In this video, we're looking at the seven best strategies to keep nitric oxide levels up in order to mitigate spike protein damage as much as possible. Exercise is one of the best ways to increase NO production in your body. As blood flows through vessels, the frictional force activates the enzyme nitric oxide synthase to produce more NO. The great news is that it doesn't take a whole lot of exercise to get the benefits of increased nitric oxide. Just a five minute workout can significantly upregulate your levels. Several years back, I came across the nitric oxide exercise on Dr. Mercola's website. And since then, it's been one of my favorite mini workouts to quickly get my blood flowing and my brain working up to speed. Just do 20 squats, 20 arm raises with each arm, 20 windmills, and 20 roof raises. And repeat that entire set two more times for a total of three full sets. This exercise can be the warm up for a longer workout, or it can be the entire workout if you're a little low on time or energy. Plus, you can easily modify it however you like with different exercises, reps, speed, or whatever. One key thing though, is to make sure you breathe through your nose as that's our second proven nitric oxide hack. In addition to being far more efficient than mouth breathing, nose breathing produces nitric oxide in the paranasal sinuses, contributing to both cardiovascular and lung wellness. And if you want to supercharge nasal nitric oxide levels, simply hum your favorite tune. Believe it or not, researchers discovered a whopping 15 fold increase in sinus nitric oxide during humming as compared to normal nose breathing. If you'd rather relax, you might just want to bake out in the sunshine for a bit. It turns out that nitric oxide is released by both skin cells and blood vessel cells upon exposure to sunlight. Vitamin D works in a similar way, and what's really interesting is that vitamin D helps to suppress factors that restrain NO production and bioavailability, making it a critical cofactor for adequate nitric oxide levels. I think this is one of the easiest and most enjoyable ways to produce more nitric oxide. Unfortunately, it depends on decent weather. With winter coming up, soon it might be more practical to hang out in the sauna. Numerous studies have linked sauna use to increased nitric oxide synthase, the enzyme that helps produce NO. Since NO correlates so closely with cardiovascular health, the results of a 2015 study out of Finland are worth noting. Men who used the sauna four to seven times per week showed a remarkable 63% lower risk of sudden cardiac death, a 50% reduced risk of other cardiovascular related deaths, and a 40% reduced risk in all-cause mortality. And this was compared to men who only use the sauna once a week. Dietary nutrients in the form of nitrates are important to the nitric oxide equation. Arugula and beets are two of the best sources of dietary nitrates, which research has shown can convert to nitric oxide or NO in the body. Other good sources are lettuce, rhubarb, Swiss chard, bok choy, beet greens, and spring greens. In addition to increasing dietary nitrate levels, NO production can be influenced by a number of dietary cofactors as well. Meat, poultry, and seafood are good sources of a nutrient called COQ10, which is believed to help preserve nitric oxide in the body and is widely known to be beneficial for heart health. Garlic activates an enzyme called nitric oxide synthase that catalyzes the production of NO from the amino acid L-arginine. Cocoflavanols from dark chocolate are associated with lowering free radicals in blood vessels, thereby lowering blood pressure and helping to optimize production of NO. Vitamin C has been shown to potentially enhance the bioavailability of NO, as well as upregulate nitric oxide synthase activity. And watermelon is the best food source of the amino acid L-citrulline, which is an important precursor to nitric oxide. Another important factor to consider is that mouthwash can deplete your oral microbiome of the bacteria needed to process dietary nitrates and therefore systemically decreases nitric oxide. An effective strategy to help combat this problem is to routinely take an oral probiotic. This helps to restore your oral microbiome and its nitric oxide producing potential. And if you're looking for the Lamborghini of supplements to help produce nitric oxide, Cardio Miracle is a solid bet. It contains good amounts of L-arginine and L-citrulline the two amino acids that serve as precursors for NO production. But what really makes Cardio Miracle top shelf is that it has a food sourced phytonutrient blend of vitamins and other minerals and nutrients that are important to NO production. Plus, it's made in the USA with organic fruits and vegetables and has clinically validated research at the University of Ohio. Now, if you're a little skeptical, that's totally understandable, but you definitely don't want to miss some of the amazing testimonials over at uc.cardiomiracle.com. And just for the record, I don't work for these guys. I just think they have an outstanding product that truly helps people. And that concludes our seven nitric oxide hacks. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like or subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.